Hi, today we are going to design an organic shape in Shaper 3D. It looks like this, and we are going to use Shaper 3D for iPad. We start with drawing a circle, let's say 25 millimeters. That's a good size for a cutter. And we draw a line through the middle of the circle, one here and one here. I usually draw those lines to, to help me draw other shapes in a circle so that the shapes are even. Here, yeah, we have to make it a little longer and trim unnecessary part. Okay, when we have the lines ready, we can make a sketch again. And spline. Let's draw a line here. Click it. Click more. Mirror. Click a line here. And it makes a mirror, mirrored shape. Then we delete the constraints here. Okay, we exit sketching. We click the mirrored one and we move it. Just maybe here. Let's close. Zoom in a little bit. Maybe move it a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now we can trim the unnecessary parts, like here, and those on the top as well. That's right. Thing. Okay. And then we click. We make a scale, so we scale we scale more or less I think it's, it's okay, and we move it so the middle of the shape is on the line here. Then we click pattern, pattern type circular, let's choose 16 and move the dot on the middle on the yeah, just here in the middle of the circle and rotate 360 degrees and done. We have a beautiful and even pattern here. Now we can delete those two lines and yeah, exit sketching. Thanks for watching so far. If you are enjoying the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Then we click Sketch, Circle, and we draw a circle about maybe nine and a half millimeters. We click Offset, let's say minus two millimeters as well. Okay, and we sketch and we draw another one. A small circle here, let's say one millimeter. Let's move it a little bit so it will be in the middle perfect pattern let's say 16 again move the dot here and make a 360 degrees rotation and click done perfect okay so now we click offset here let's make an offset for the circle like 1.2 millimeters and here offset 0.4 inside as a blade 0 0.6 uh, for a support of our blade and the last offset here two millimeters for better holding of a cutter okay Let's make an offset edge of 0 0.4 millimeters. Yeah, but before that, okay, let's just, let's delete this circle for now. Okay, let's, let's delete it. And again, all right, we'll make this offset of 0 0.4. And let's do it, we have to click offset edge in a loop mode. You can see here now a single click loop and we make 0 0.4 and we repeat it on every other shape here. 
I will speed it up for you a little bit. Okay, we will make an offset from this circle 0 0.4 and another offset, let's delete these constraints, and another offset 0 0.6 here. Okay, and for this one we'll make an offset again, let's say 0 0.4 again here, and we have to make it make the support for this for the 0 0.4 offset here so again 0 0.6 it will be interfering with our shape but don't worry we can trim on the unnecessary parts and we will do it in a minute okay, let's close it up a little bit yeah perfect so again offset edge from this shape let's say one millimeter the inner shape so we click just this one more offset edge loop and one millimeter and we repeat it for every single one of them so again let me speed it up for you a little bit Perfect. We got it. As you can see, we have to go to trim option and remove the unnecessary parts with the trim tool. Again, let me speed it up a little bit. Just one more small part remains. Perfect, now it's good. The last thing that we have to trim before we are going to extrude and make our cutter are those little parts here. So again, we can use the trim tool to trim all the necessary parts that we don't want. So remove it. Now our pattern will be nicely fitting the blade. Oh yeah, that's good. Now it looks really, really nice. So we extrude this part two millimeters, the next one 10 millimeters, and finally our blade for cutting the polymer clay 14 millimeters. Now we click all of those inner shapes here okay so you press you can click on every single one of them and make an extrusion don't have to do it one by one so that's a that's a good thing here in shaper 3d and now we can click those okay and make an extrusion 12.5 millimeters and it looks like this, perfect. Okay, make a top view, click here. All right, and then we click all of the outer shapes in our pattern. You can click every single one of them and make an extrusion just one time. It's, it's better, to, okay, we have to be careful to click the, yeah, the arrows here. 9.5 millimeters for the support of our stamp here yes that looks good now click on the small circles here and make an extrusion 12.5 again this circle here 12.5 as well okay now go inside 
and to make an extrusion of 9.5 millimeters make a top view it looks better from here if we extruded everything yeah it looks good in this one this circle 12.5 again extrusion all right now we have to enable the sketch because shaper 3 hit it yes now we can see again the sketch is here okay so we click this one to be careful when yeah selecting because a lot of shapes are now here so i have to click this one and make an ext extrusion of 9.5 again okay yes it looks very nice the last thing we should do before we have to before exporting we have to connect those little things inside here you can see the small uh, small circles yeah so they are not connected so let's maybe we can try to to make a uh, circle here all right and an offset maybe just here 0 0.8 now we yes it's in sketch 2 so we can hide sketch 1 for now it will be easier to click all of the parts that are going to connect the small circles inside otherwise they will just fall off if you are printed so let's make an ext extrusion 9.5 again perfect now we have to connect uh, this ring that you can see all the small rings with the rest of the cutter let's make a sketch of a rectangle let's make two of them one's maybe just here and another one maybe here perfect let's exit sketching and we have to click all of the parts from those two rectangles inside also we have to zoom in for the smaller ones perfect yes now we make an extrusion of 9.5 millimeters here perfect i think our job is done the cutter is ready it looks really really nice i think that the pattern uh, tool is very very useful for uh, cutters like this so uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial i hope you found it really useful if so please do not forget to subscribe for more leave a like i would be very grateful thank you very much and bye bye